I'm Scott Whiting, I'm in my early 30s and I'm a zoologist. Uh, at the moment my job involves mainly working with sea turtles uh, and with Indigenous communities throughout the Northern Territory, so mainly research in biology and looking at conservation outcomes. Going out in remote areas, finding sea turtle beaches where the turtles come up and nest and then going out and, and tagging and measuring turtles and uh, working out whether the numbers are going up or down and, uh, and what major uh, conservation activities can help sort of support turtles. Australia is lucky to have six of the, the seven sea turtle species. I grew up in the Snowy Mountains in New South Wales and, and went to school in a little town, town there called Tumut. And uh, I think I've always wanted to work with animals but never really knew which, which job sort of to go into and, uh, and I think it was probably in second year at university. I was a, a Bachelor of Science and majoring in marine biology and zoology. After volunteering for, for different projects, I uh, volunteered for a sea turtle project in Bundaberg and uh, it all led on from that, so from a volunteering experience, I uh, went on to sort of postgraduate work and, uh, and then on to um, you know, further studies and, and then into to jobs that way. I worked on dugongs, um, that's been a, a part of my life as well, so um, straight out of uni I was lucky to work with um, some people at James Cook University which helped me uh, um, learn a little bit about dugongs and then uh, later on I sort of started to, to run some of the projects on my own which is really good. And uh, that involved uh, things like doing aerial surveys of dugongs in the water, uh, satellite tracking to look at their movements and, uh, and so yeah, finding out their bio biology again so you can look at those um, you know, conservation outcomes. Throughout the other countries in the world, they're, they're fairly well depleted, so we probably have the last stronghold of, of dugongs in the world. And, you know, dugong is like a sea cow, so if you've heard of a sea cow, um, it's related to the manatee, which is over in Florida and uh, in the Americas as well. So if you see it in the water, it, you know, it would look like a fat dolphin without a dorsal fin on top. It's just amazing to be out um, in the wild with wild animals and, and working, working with them that way. The benefit with sea turtles and dugongs is that they are sort of iconic and people, for some reason people seem to like turtles, which is a good thing and uh, you know, and whether it's the, the sort of torturous sort of life cycle they have is starting off as a little tiny hatchling and then you know, going out into this big sort of open sea with no mother or father to look after them, they have no parental care. From all of those thousands of hatchlings produced from, from a beach, uh, not many might survive. If we are getting a reduction in turtle numbers throughout the world, there's, there's something going on which isn't right and, uh, and it's a good indication that um, we'll probably feel the impacts a little bit down the track with food production. I was a fairly mediocre student, um, but I, I don't know whether I applied myself um, completely at school either. I think now that I realise that in any job you do, even a simple count of nesting tracks on beaches or counting turtles, you find that you do need quite a little bit of, uh, quite a bit of maths, and uh, and I think if I had a little bit more, I think I'd be uh, be going a lot better than I am now. And the same with English. It I don't think it, in this day and age, it doesn't matter what job you do. Um, you have to do reports to your bosses, or you have to do reports for funding. I think when you're younger, you don't realise that you do need them. The thing with environmental science, I think, is if you want to be a millionaire, it's probably not the job for you. I've always enjoyed getting up and going to work, and it takes a lot of money to buy that in a job. I think pick something you think you'd like, go out in the field, try it for a couple of days or a week, um, try several different, different uh, you know, jobs and also different people. And I think in biology especially, or environmental science, even to get a job, it's very good to go out and volunteer. It's good to, uh, to have, have those qualifications, but people you know is also important. One of the best parts of the job, I think, is that um, you go to some amazing places and some of these are, are some of the most remote places in Australia. The northern Great Barrier Reef, uh, the southern Gulf of Carpentaria, um, places like Ashmore Reef out in the Indian Ocean, Cocos Keeling Islands, in, uh, Christmas Island. All of these places are, are just so remote and, and very hard to get to if you, if you weren't in a job like this. And so that, I, I see that as one of the, the, uh, the benefits and I like nothing more than, you know, doing the, the night work on the turtles and sitting out on a beach, um, you know, not, not a light in, in the, on the horizon, you know, full uh, sky of stars, so it's uh, very nice.